got small arms, long arms, ammunition. Diamond City surplus, everything you need. Nick. Where's your son? What happened? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg? Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But am I right in thinking he's not available for a chin wag? He's dead, Nick. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. Guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. What exactly do we need, Nick? Kellogg's brain. It's a long shot, but Dr. Amari just might be able to get it jump-started. See what the old Merc knew. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there or we can head out together. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. Even good people do crazy things when they're scared. Never thought a reporter model. could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Thank hey, Piper. You. 
It's you know, like I can finally think straight. The Institute has a lot of enemies. The Minutemen tangled with them once. The Railroad still does. I've even got some notes on these new guys. The Brotherhood of Steel. That Brotherhood airship is hard to miss. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't do subtle. From what I've heard, they take whatever they want. Especially if it's high tech. They just might have the muscle to give the Institute a run for their money, but they're... Let's just say they have their own agenda. You said something about the railroad? Supposedly, they help runaway synths escape the Institute, but... They're secretive. Ultra paranoid. The only thing I have is a rumor. A, a code phrase. Follow the Freedom Trail. Tell me about the Minutemen. You know that group you rescued and conquered? As far as I know, they're the last Minutemen left in the Commonwealth. They used to be a volunteer army, dedicated to protecting friends, family, and neighbors. Sounds soft, but they were a real thing at one point. I should get going. All right. To spend a whole case of ammo holding this site. Suppose that means we missed all the fun. No one's gonna move on this place now that the Pridwin's in town. <clears throat> Military business only. dance. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck? Sir, mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally! Some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. I had some help from our new friend. I've offered her a place on our team, but I'm not sure she's willing to accept. In the meantime, she's welcome to take shelter here, as long as she doesn't get in our way. Dance. There's still a place for you in the Brotherhood, if you want it. What would be expected of me, if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. So, what do you say? I still want to think about it. Suit yourself. You know where to find us when you're ready to make a decision. Helen might only be a scribe, but she can kick some serious ass. I wouldn't Paladin mess with her dance. if I were you. There's still a place for you in the Brotherhood. If you want it. I'd be honored to join. Then that settles it. Helen, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. She shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think she has the potential of becoming one of the best. I'm only in it for the spiffy uniforms. Oh yeah? And here I thought you joined up for a sense of purpose and meaning. So you decided to stay, huh? 
I expected you to take your payment and run. Are you upset that I'm staying? Maybe. Got enough trouble stomping muties and ferals. I don't need something else to worry about. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. That won't be a problem. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of Knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Does this mean I'm one of you now? As far as I'm concerned, yes. Ad Victorium, Knight. She doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable, because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Paladin. Are you ready to head up to the ship? Why did the Brotherhood send it here in the first place? I'm not sure, but I think it might have something to do with the data on the Commonwealth my team gathered before it arrived. We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon? The man's a lunatic. Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Listening. Something up? Your thoughts? The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. That's all for now. Got it. Flying around in a 200 year old aircraft? <laughs> what could go wrong? Got a minigun in front of you, loaded and ready to fire. Did you spot anything hostile during the flight? I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the local. The Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're gonna need that in take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Overwhelms. 
on final approach to the airport. The Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. something out of the Commonwealth yet. Heads up. Come on. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. Welcome back. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on the successful mission. Is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our rank as a person. Yes, we've read the reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request to place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the crib and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victoria, Captain. Ad Victoria. Captain Kells? So. You're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Sorry to disappoint you. Sorry? A little soft around the edges, aren't you? If you want to earn your place among the best, you need to toughen up. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? Yeah. Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address. Uh, anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Not much of a sight yourself. You lost? Maxon's address is being held on the command deck. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. 
each and every one of you, has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and are beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their synths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud.